There was a big response to the video about pain in our bodies being a symptom of Kundalini and our ascension. So I wanted to talk more about this. You know, the East has known for thousands of years about the Kundalini and it's called the coiled serpent, which sits at the base of your spine. And it's when it's activated, basically it starts weaving your divine energy into your human body. So this is actually what gets us out of our egos, that helps us grow beyond our egos. The Kundalini starts, gets activated somehow through, you know, meditation, a teacher can activate it, an authentic teacher, but it can also happen through an incredible love affair or a beautiful afternoon you know, sitting at the beach where you start feeling that God is everywhere and it can activate then your Kundalini and then this starts off, this sets off this cleaning process where your ego is basically cleaned out. It will start in your base chakra, the bottom of your spine, and that's, that chakra has to do with our basic survival and our beliefs about survival. So when the Kundalini starts working there, what will happen is your survivor, survival fears will come up. You'll kind of, the question will be is, can I really exist in my higher energy and basically feed myself here on earth? That's kind of the rub. How do I take care of my physical needs at, while allowing my true self to manifest. Well, basically, in my experience, uh, God figures it out. <laughs> it just works out somehow. But it can be unnerving as we do this. But anyway, so it goes through all the chakras. So we can feel very heavy sometimes because our ego actually is heavy. <laughs> and so we might feel extremely heavy sometimes. Like I remember feeling like I weighed 400 pounds one day. I just couldn't believe it, you know? And really I was feeling the heaviness with which I have lived and it was clearing. You see, I was leaving some of my ego behind. And now I have to say, after many years of this process, I feel as light as a feather and it's so different from the way I used to feel. But you know, it takes time. It's not done overnight. The Kundalini is, you know, it's, it, it's a process involving the creator. So it's, it's, it, how do I say it? It's absolute, you know, it's, you don't want to rush it. You just want to allow it to occur at the pace that it, occurs and your chakras will be cleared and if you take it far enough it will rise up your chakras to your crown chakra which is where a person achieves mastery and their ego and soul basically unite and what ego is left which is by that time there's very small amount of ego left but it is used to serve the divine and the person so it basically leaves the person, the spiritual master, with enough ego to function and to teach their knowledge. It's, it's, you know, it is the most hopeful thing, the Kundalini. In fact, I think our therapy should just be involved the Kundalini <laughs> because it's the only thing that really works because it, it really does purify us. Now, the takeaway I for this video is, <clears throat> please, if you feel the Kundalini has been activated and you're feeling, you know, all kinds of weird physical symptoms that may be, the, you know, you might go to the doctor and there's nothing medically wrong, please steer towards a higher understanding without fighting negativity. Um, just steer towards uplifting. Um, towards focus on love and kindness for yourself and others, uh, read inspirational things, keep your mind up. It's like climbing a mountain. You know, if you, 
if you climb, you think it's be going to be beautiful at the top. I'm going to, you know, be able to see this beautiful view. You're going to have a better time climbing than if you're thinking, oh, I don't want to do this. My legs hurt. I'm tired. I want to stop for a snack. Why did I ever start this mountain? Like that's, you know, you might never get very far with that kind of attitude. It's the same with the Kundalini. Keep your mind on this more expanded life that you're coming into and keep your mind steering towards wisdom and developing wisdom. And um, maybe don't watch the news too much. <laughs> you know, you can stay plugged in with current affairs without dousing yourself with negative thinking. Okay. Well, many blessings. And remember, something beyond you is helping you. Yeah. Okay. Bless your hearts.